Okay, I learned a new trick just then. I have to shift. Anyway, I would have begun filming this a few minutes ago. I'm waiting on the upload of a large file to YouTube, but I'm pretty sure I've got this in clear focus. You're seeing at a distance of at least 70 miles, which means we're roughly at at least, uh, we're equal at the, we're at least about 600 feet right here, which is, you know, in Texas, that's big. You don't get to the mountain size until you get a little west of here. But right there, see that center pole right there? Just to the right of that is my hilltop. Look closely, you can see it. It's from actually right here, it's, well, I gotta count off from the highway. Highway 21, it's, actually that post is almost dead spot on from where I'm sitting. We're facing almost, uh, just slightly north of due east, right near the little village known as Deanville. There's a reason why there's a cotton gin in Deanville. I'm not sure what that building is there, but it's got to be like municipal or something. There's a sign over there, but I ain't wasting it. Well, welcome to the heart of Texas. This is what the heart of Texas looks like from the west side of it. What you're seeing out there, especially in this area right here, this is where the little tin settled, you know, uh, what is at least 40 to 75 more of 38 to 78 miles or well it's ex expanded into the so that's really the original part of texas right there on the far horizon you're this is a at least a 70 mile view i've been examining some things on the as best i can without binoculars on the distance but that freeway right about there that's the tollway that i told you about of course walmart over here all kind of businesses down there is desile road fm 685 actually in austin texas martin luther king boulevard is it 969 or 696 fm far the market road what is martin luther king boulevard in austin actually runs up with meandering that away and ends up real close to my home. So there's a reason that farm to market 969 or 696. I can't remember at the moment, maybe 696 because that was the path and it's actually runs right close to one of the branches of the Chisholm Trail. But that was apparently one of the major paths other than what is now Highway 2171, of getting cotton, uh, or at least the cotton traders, I should say, to the Cotton Exchange on 6th Street. The original building is there. It's limestone. I was picking a car. Some lady a little while ago drove past. She was so slumped down that I think it was a Ben's white lady at you could probably tell she had been having happy hour a little early and she was relaxed and just hoping to make it home without having to use her influence to get her out of another DWI. Because I don't think she even saw me. She was just keeping her eyes on that road. But this is what it looks like. I mean, actually, when you get actually in the real actual heart of the first Anglo colony, the little tin, there's not much between Brenham and all the way, you know, Brenham's one of the kind of the southern edge of it, and there's Caldwell in the county of Burleson. It's very close to it. Deanville and Dime Box. And by the way, the movie Dime Box starring Warren Oates and uh, I think Dennis Hopper was in it. I can't remember the female, but that movie is 100% wrong. Now I'm going to tell you a little Texas history. Where do you come up with a funny ass sounding name like Dime Box? Well, actually, there's old dime box that's up on the buff path of the buffalo and the Indians that pursued the buffalo back and forth during migration. That's on Highway 21. Actually, 21 and 71 are fused there. They just call it 21. Then 71 pairs off once you get close to the Louisiana border. 
You notice I said that right, Louisiana. And uh, not Louisiana, Louisiana. And then it breaks out kind of apart and 71 goes south. With, there's The buffalo didn't go too far south because uh, then they started running into the kind of the coastal plains that didn't have their preferred type of grasses before they turned their ass around and headed back up there. And that's actually the path of the buffalo is one of the major parts of the whole fertilizing, introducing beneficial organisms and shit like that, but back to dime box. See, a genius can take you on a tangent, then bring you right back. Now, old dime box was named dime box because the postman coming through that's where in his like week of delivering, you know, uh, mail, he would buy his dime box of snuff. It came in little like little wooden boxes. Not, not in jars, little wooden boxes. Fine joinery. Dime box, dime box of snuff, Texas. Remember, learn some little history, you know. And actually, when it was new dime box, it was actually called Brown's Mill. My family brought in the Browns to mill wood and other things for us, which later on they became the largest fucking construction company in the world, Brown and Root, later known as Hel uh, Halliburton Kellogg Brown and Root, which all y'all complained about them getting the no-bid contract for Iraq. They were the, please, they were the only company on, please, they built the uh, international highways. They built all them big dams. They laid the world's pipelines for a long time. They were the only company that had the logistical skill and the contacts to pull off the Iraq contact. Are you going to really give the contract to somebody who doesn't have the skill right off the bat? Are you even going to let them bid on it? No. It's a waste of time. A lot of you people who don't really understand anything, young people, um, well, do you understand how to knock them boots and roll that reefers and shit like that? I get that. I was young once. I'm still young at heart. But, you know, we get old, we get uh, wise and stuff. I'm I'd say I'm trying to lead you back. To, that's the first frame of my last video. And so that's really it. I'm going to explain again. The reason that Texas came, because my great-grandfather had run across some Frenchmen, Spaniards, and stuff like that in Virginia. And he knew that the, actually it's up this way. Well, no, it's, yeah, it is up that way. There was one little tiny square. If you can find the maps of the Blackland Prairie in Texas, you'll find that this is true. If you can find accurate maps. Didn't take me long. Last of the Blackland Prairie, there was a little block coming into, little square block coming into Oklahoma. Then there was a thin little strip leading down to over there. And they're trying to claim that this is the eastern edge. That's what the city of Pflugerville claims that this is the eastern edge of the Blackland Prairie. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. No way, no how. It's the eastern edge is over that, what you would consider to be a ridge. We all, the eastern edge is on the other side, 70, more than, actually, 80, Brazos River is the limit <laughs> of the real, actual, Soil that was like the last warm, rich soil in Texas. That's why we came here. You didn't have to use fertilizer. You didn't have to collect your manure or nothing. You could just come in, throw down seeds, stomp on them, let, let it rain, and boom, you got a crop of cotton. I'm 100% sure that my great-grandfather, William Wayne Hill, was one of the first or the first big-time cotton producers in the state of Texas and all them jealous fuckers that came later and all them carpetbaggers have written their own versions of Texas. You're getting the closest to the horse's mouth right now as you're ever going to get because this horse has got bad breath by this time of the day. This horse meaning me. I did my brushing and mouthwashing earlier, but shit, I ate about, who oh man, about a pound and a half of chicken and stuff. And look at them pretty blue skies. Oh yeah, we got a little... About to get to some of the last, but that won't be until the morning. But I'm gonna try to kind of keep this short here because uh, let me put on my glasses. Is there anything I can interesting I can point out? I got to get them from where I hung them. People think I'm filming them here or something. It's not that they give a shit. 
there ain't much but if you notice actually like right on the other side of that the the toll road that's really you see all them trucks they're paying a toll to get them and they get to go faster than going through downtown austin we don't want them nobody wants them they don't really want it and they, they still bitch about the tolls and i'm sorry i just knocked off my yeah i'm just looking down there and you can see right i might get my finger in about the right spot right out there some looks like some kind of silo and stuff it's right on the other side of that that toll road is, you know, actually that's where the hospital I was in the other night. And then, you know, on either side of it and is, you know, square miles of open pasture land and forest and stuff. This is a, a slowly developing, but what actually, there's a lot of people that want to be here right now because they want jobs with the companies that are based here operating out of here got a major section of their business here and there's like like every kind of chain if you want to be in you know management of a some department store or you know restaurant chain restaurant this is a place good place to start moving up into what is really an upscale neighborhood and actually texas this the growth of texas has been absolutely exponential I hate going anywhere anymore because all like the entrance exits is all the streets are changed and it's all constant state of construction construction since really the after the end of the stagflation of Vietnam, you know, from you know, about 76, 75, 76 to the early 80s. After the early 80s, uh, really all parts of Texas started to boom. Then after everybody became actually I'm surrounded by my classmates from Carl Mann High School, Belmont, California. They're all around here now. Well, not all of them, but you know, they run from Houston all the way up to Level Land. That's about a mm, about an 800 mile stretch, something like that, at least 700, 750. And I've had a lot of my people I know, their little brothers and stuff, they've been here because they get, yeah, I know one brother of uh, one of my my, uh, actually, I mentioned her, my turbocharged Christian girlfriend that I really didn't like. She had a smoking hot body, but that was one ugly soul. She really didn't care about anything except scalping, getting some of them soul scalps for her Jesus belt. There's a nice lady right down there. It looks like she needs to lay off the Franken food. That's If you can see her down in the picture there, she's pushing about, even though she's short, she's pushing about 450, 500 pounds. That's what Franken food does to you. Well, actually, that's I'm sorry. That's actually that's the 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 uh, tall building right there with the blue and the limestone. That's actually my healthcare system, Baylor Scott and White. The Catholics were really mean to me. I had quite a bit of problem with. Uh, I don't know if I want to really get close to any of the Methodist stuff. The, there's Methodist Hospital and stuff. I think actually in Houston they got a big one that that uh, uh, George H. W. Bush used to go to. Herbert Walker, not Little Bush, the shrub, not him. Well, he probably went there too, but he ain't gonna let you know that. I think I've covered it here. The other video is uploaded by now, and I'm gonna stop this before 14 minutes because I'm actually tired. Well, not really tired, but I just uh, can't think of, I keep looking in the distance there and it's, no, that's a, I thought I was seeing an overpass in the distance of where like 290 and 21 hook up, but that would actually be over in that direction and then goes up. Anyway, you've seen it now. That's the real heart of Texas right there and that's the hospital the other day where the doctor when she said uh what have you been using to treat it and i said benzoconium chloride she knew that i was in her league i was not out out of my league that was pretty much it she knew i had it under control i'm due to i have to go to some wound care clinic i need to go yada yada blah blah y'all are tired of hearing that shit. the dark cloud is lifted i'm feeling better 
I got a lot of shit done this morning. I've had four small cups of fresh ground, fresh brewed. You know, the minute it comes out of the machine, Swiss made, I got it. And that's actually real vanilla. And, or last time I just used plain old half and half. And, but ultra high temperature and plenty of pure cane sugar. I don't like beet sugar. Sometimes I get a bad reaction to it because I'm pretty sure they turned it into a Franken food, a GMO. And here comes one of uh, Pflugerville's finest. And actually, it's kind of got an odd, I don't really recognize. That's not the usual Pflugerville PD. Well, well, you see, when you go in that direction, you're going to hear that East Texas, Tennessee nasal twang. Well, I'm going to tell you one damn thing. We is going over here to Bubba's and Sissy, uh, 75s. And it's a whole nother dialect. This is Central Texas guttural English. It's a combination of Brit, guttural, and German influence on English. Texas guttural is what it's called in the English department. So that's it. Now you've seen the heart of Texas, the real heart of the Texas by an original, you know, first degree, straight bloodline, a prince of Texas, that's where the original colony is, right over there, right in that area, the little tin. Don't make me start naming family names. Anyway, I'm done, I'm out of here, you've seen it. Now you got what you want. Some of y'all been asking for this. I went to some effort today to do this and I enjoyed it. I don't get out much, I really don't. Um, it can be painful. Uh, at the moment, I'm seated on top of my go bag in my wheelchair. If you think I'm standing up during this, you're nuts. You're straight up loco, buddy. Boy, Heidi.